Hello and good morning. This is Rafael Madrigal. Um, I'm part of the AEC development program, training program here at Vivo Tech. And so uh, thank you all for being here today. Uh, today we're I'm going to talk about our, our extensive line of fisheye and panoramic cameras. These cameras can provide the easiest method for um, situational awareness given the wide view in a single image. Events can be captured with no viewing loss due to blind spots. So in today's presentation, I'll go over the features and benefits of the 180 and 360 degree cameras, and then uh, a quick demo. So I'll also dive into our latest 180 degree camera in the CC series, the CC9380-HV. If you have any questions during or after the presentation, please send an email to VivoTech underscore a ec at vivotech.com and we'll reply to you as soon as possible. Okay. So these are the form factors of the cameras. We have single and multi-sensory solutions for different types of coverage. You note that the cameras with multi-sensors include MS at the beginning of the part number to denote multi-sensor. CC means compact cube. So after the dash in the part numbering, H means high dynamic range, V means outdoor vandal proof, and E denotes extreme temperature. So the numbering refers to lens type, resolution, video stream, compression type, and whether it's an indoor or outdoor camera. <clears throat> so VivoTech provides one of the most extensive lines of 180 degree cameras, and these are some of the key features. Events can be captured with virtually no loss of angles or blind spots. These cameras are available in wide range of megapixel resolutions from two megapixel all the way up to 20 megapixels. <clears throat> Given the range of megapixels and form factors, <clears throat> excuse me, these cameras are suitable for retail, <clears throat> banking, education, transportation, commercial buildings, healthcare applications, data centers, utilities, and a whole host of other applications. So these cameras are also also include wide dynamic range pro for those high contrast environments. Most models include IR illuminators to light up all the areas being recorded, plus smart IR to eliminate overexposure. <clears throat> they have built-in microphones able to pick up sound at about 15 feet, and they include Trend Micro's ILT security. Given the broad range of choices, just like you'd choose a dome versus a bullet or a box camera, the 180 degree camera lineup allows you to pick the ideal camera for your given scenario. So at VivoTech, we provide three form factors, again, each designed for different coverage distances. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our CC line is compact, has a fisheye lens, and provides recognition up to 50 feet or 15 meters. The dual sensor, the MS9390, is going to stitch two four megapixel images together and thus provide you with an eight megapixel panoramic image. So this is excellent for recognition up to 20 meters or in feet, that would be about 65 feet. Okay, lastly, we have our MS9321 with four lenses that stitch the images together, giving you one 20 megapixel panoramic image, providing a recognition cap capabilities up to 100 feet or 30 meters. Okay, looking at camera features, the CC series is great for indoor and outdoor areas. They have a weather and vandal proof enclosure and is great for retail, education, residential, health, healthcare, and hospitality. The MS9390 is also weather and vandal proof and ideal for parking, transportation, education, restaurants, healthcare, industrial applications. Our four lens MS9321 is perfect for wide range for wide open areas like airports, you know, or seaports or stadiums, you know, uh, city surveillance, you know, large open parking areas, government buildings, you know, shopping centers, and things of that nature. This next image displays the built-in IR illuminators of each model with the effective businesses. With a built-in smart IR feature, you'll be immune to whiteout. <coughs> The CC is effective up to 50 feet, the MS9390 up to 65 feet, and the MS9321 up to about 100 feet. 
diving in a little deeper, <clears throat> here we see the key features of the CC9380. Most importantly, H.265 compression, five megapixel CMOS sensor. <clears throat> It'll transmit 20 frames per second with the wide dynamic range on and 30 frames per second with the wide dynamic range off. Smart Stream 3, which will save bandwidth and storage even further, <clears throat> in some cases up to 50 to 80% over H.265 alone. Secured with Trend Micro and anti-ligature design. So note that the anti-ligature anti design, sorry about that, <laughs> is pretty unique because it allows you to get away from a corner mount camera if that feature is imperative. So now that you have another camera design that can be installed in psych wards and prisons or any other environment where people may want to cause harm to themselves. And it's also NDAA compliant. <clears throat> okay, so here we have is um, a comparison of wide dynamic range. So the CC9381, right, has the capability of 120 dB of wide dyna dynamic range. So versus the previous generation, which just had 100 dB. So that extra 20 dB makes all the difference. The CC9381 is very similar to the CC9380. It also comes with H.265 compression, 5, mix, 5 megapixel CMOS sensor, 20 frames per second with wide dynamic range on, and 30 frames per second with WDR off. <clears throat> Smart Stream 3 to save additional bandwidth and storage. Secured with Trend Micro and also has the anti ligature design. So the difference between the previous model So the difference between the previous model is the IR illumination feature. So for, for, for viewing up to 50 feet in complete darkness, okay? So <clears throat> with the CC9380 and the CC9381, you have 120 degree vertical view, vertical field of view. So just remember that this detail when you're thinking of mounting locations. Okay, so comparing the CC series cameras with the MS9321, which is the 20 megapixel panoramic, you can see the CC series cameras are a great choice for close proximity viewing. You'll note the CC camera features. The camera captures the pickpocket action while the MS9321 misses it. So the CC captures all activity immediately in front given its wide vertical field of view. The CC cameras are also more discreet given their low profile when mounted to a wall. Whereas the MS9321 sticks out about a good foot, a good foot away from the wall. So you, you do however get better detail at the far ends of the image if that were your if that was your goal with the MS9321. However, given this scenario, you'll be better served by adding a couple more CCs along the corridor in order to capture the up-close action. If you have an application where you need lighting at night, the CC9381 has built-in IR illuminators that will give you 180 degrees of coverage up to 50 feet, right, or 15 meters. Where your application calls for day or night applications, no matter the environment conditions, we do have a solution. Okay, so the key differences between the two models are as follows. The CC9381 has a tilting plate, which adds another 15 degrees of tilt. The CC9381 has IR illuminators for viewing in complete darkness. And because of those IR illuminators, the dimensions of the CC9381 are slightly larger. The CC9381 also draws more power due to, due to those IR illuminators. Here's the CC9381. Once you log in, you'll find the user in interface very similar to the rest of our cameras. What I'd like to show you are a few key features that you can manipulate when it comes to this camera, such as the infrared illuminators, the wide dynamic range, the WDR, and the video codec options, okay? So this is the uh, landing page for the camera. 
So you click on configuration, click on media, image, and then you click on illuminators. Okay, so here you have the option for um, turning on the illumin uh, illuminators, the infrared IR illuminators, or turning them off. If you note that if you turn them off, it um, gets rid of the anti-exposure option, right? Which is um, the feature that allows the prevention of, of whiteout when someone comes up close to the camera in the middle of the night and all you see is a white face. So that's what that is for, okay? So the next thing I'd like to show you um, has to do with the wide dynamic range. So for that, we need to click on exposure, the tab here that says exposure. And you scroll all the way down and here you have the option of clicking on the wide dynamic range enhanced. Okay, so notice that if you remember, this camera does have uh, WDR Pro and it's not listed here. Okay, so what you need to do to get that option um, available to you is to click on, you click on video, okay? And here you have the option of selecting the WDR Pro. So all you need to do is click on that and you're all set to go. Click okay. takes just a second all right we're still in the configuration page so we go to image go to exposure scroll down below and there it is enable WDR Pro so that becomes enabled all right so the next thing we can uh, manipulate really easy which is pretty important is the video codec options right um, so for that, we need to go to media, which is this tab here. We're in that tab already. And then video. And then you select stream. Click on the, the video stream one, for example. And here you have the here you have the options of selecting, you know, H.265, H.264, and JPEG. And um, you, once you're in the H.265 or H.264, for example, um, you can manipulate the SmartStream 3. Okay, so by selecting the SmartStream 3 and having that function um, checked, you'll be able to save up to 90% bandwidth and 90% of storage. Okay. Just to reiterate that 90% savings in terms of bandwidth and hard disk space occurs when you're using H.265 and SmartStream 3. Okay, so moving on to the next slide. And lastly, the CC9381 allows for manual focus. So if you ever notice that the picture is out of focus, you can manually adjust the lens in order to get it back into focus. So when you remove the camera housing, there is a tiny screw as seen in the image, images that need to be loosened. You then can turn the lens in either direction until you get a focused image. Okay. <clears throat> the MS9390, this is the, this is one of the most efficient panoramic cameras in surveillance. It offers eight megapixel resolution, 180 degrees of viewing, H.265 compression with Smart Stream 3 for reduced bandwidth and storage, 30 frames per second, video alignment for a seamless image of the two lenses, built in IR illuminators up to 65 feet or 20 meters. Smart motion detection to reduce false alarms, meaning detection based around humans and objects, and trend microsecurity. Okay, the MS9390 is going to provide a, a 50 degree field of view, which is more than the traditional multi-sensor cameras out in the market day, today. Also provides 180 degree IR illuminators, so you have visibility up to 65 feet or 20 meters to ensure you have a 24 seven panoramic surveillance.
Okay, here's a video clip just to give you an, an idea of what you can see with the camera. Note the clarity of the image, right, by focusing on the bushes, right, the license plates and branches on the trees in the distance. You'll also note the stitching of the image down by the curb and up the empty parking spot immediately in front of the camera. So right between those two cars, that, em that empty parking spot, you can see the stitching there. Okay, so that's proof that there are two sensors. <laughs> All right. Next is the MS9221-EHV, which is our 180-degree multi-sensor camera that offers the highest resolution and largest field of view. This unit will reduce the total amount of cameras required to cover large areas. Therefore, if you, you know, you'll save a lot of money and time given less cameras need to be installed. So some of the key features of this unit, right? Okay, so video images are compressed using H.265 with Smart Stream 3, saving bandwidth and tons of storage. Four 5 megapixel CMOS sensors, giving you one 20 megapixel panoramic 180 degree view with exceptional detail and comprehensive coverage. 30 frames at the maximum 20 megapixels, even with Wide Dynamic Range Pro turned on. Wide Dynamic Range Pro at 120 dB will give you excellent visibility in extreme high contrast environments. Built-in IR illuminators with Smart IR2 is included for manual or, or automatic IR adjustment, effective up to 100 feet or 30 meters. The camera includes the adjustment bracket and the back box. So this allows for more pen and tilt during the installation for more versatility. It also includes a built-in sunshield. Here is a comparison of the previous generation unit versus the MS9321-EHV. You'll note a much taller vertical field of view now it's 65 degrees versus 34 degrees. You'll also note the light contrast improvement when the Wide Dynamic Range Pro is turned on. So if you look at the shaded areas, you can see that there's a big difference there. Okay. So the smart, the smart IR2 technology with the adaptive IR technology turned on is going to enable the IR illuminators throughout the entire viewing range stitched together or individually to prevent any hot or dark, dark spots when an object suddenly appears near the camera. So the illumination is rated at 100 feet or 30 meters at 180 degrees. So this feature gives you yet another, again, 24 seven surveillance capabilities, no matter the lighting conditions, making this self-contained solution ideal for rooftops, perimeters, parking lots, alleyways, construction sites, parks, and you know a host of other absent or low lighting applications. And here's an example of the aspect ratio and how that compares and differs between, you know, these 180 degree cameras, right, in the, in the 9000 series. Here's an example of a large open area. You'll see all three cameras captured the entire scene. However, the MS9321 in this application is the better choice, given the extensive detail provided throughout the entire 180 degree range and the ability to capture detail located farther away. All right, a quick demo here. So what you see here is the landing page of the MS9321-EHV, which is our 180 degree 20 megapixel camera after you set it up and have logged in. Okay, the plan is to show you a couple of key settings that can be configured. As you can see, the layout looks similar to other cameras we've been working with, giving you that in intuitive user interface. Okay, so first we're going to go to, to configuration, then media, then image, and we're gonna click on the illuminators tab. Okay, so here you can turn the illuminators on or off, as well as the anti-exposure or connect um, other IR illuminators via the digital output. Okay, so the next key feature is the lens alignment. Okay, 
So here you can adjust how far away from the camera you can have the images stitched together between each adjacent lens. Ideally, you want the stitching to happen at the approximate distance of your area of interest from the camera for the best possible picture. Note that the factory setting is about 30 feet or 10 meters. So you can do that um, all at once with all four um, sensors simply by sliding this uh, button left and right. So if you want to stitch the images farther away, you slide it to the right. And if you want to stitch those Im uh, images closer to the camera, you slide it over to the left. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, show you all that really quickly and um, we can now move on. Okay, so moving over to the 360 fisheye cameras. VivoTech has an extensive line of these types of cameras. These cameras provide 360 degree viewing angles when mounted on a ceiling. That's to say mounted horizontally. When mounted on a wall or vertically, they provide 180 degree panoramic, panoramic viewing angles. We have eight five megapixel models and two 12 megapixel models. Some of the key features these cameras offer are as follows. We have a wide range of megapixel resolutions from five megapixel to 12 megapixel, like I just mentioned. Indoor and outdoor rated housings, you know, rated at IP66 and anti-vandal rated at IK10, which uh, is an impact of 11 pounds or five kilograms at a height of roughly 15 inches or 400 millimeters. And the value added functions depending on the model. Okay, so we have wide dynamic pro, IR illuminator features, smart and, ad and adaptive, supreme night visibility, built-in microphone, trend micro IoT, and smart 360 VCA. So looking at the smart, smart IR2, adaptive IR, this technology really shines in 360-degree uh, cameras. With this feature, you can achieve uniform il illumination while eliminating hot spots and dark spots. Therefore, your camera will record useful images, even in challenging conditions. The supported models for this feature are the FE9191 and the FE9391-EV. So here's a demo of how this is being done. In this video, each zone is individually adjusted and you'll note the clarity of each zone given the difference in lighting. If we didn't have this available to us, you know, certain areas would not be visible. Note the outer edges, people aren't visible without the adaptive IR versus with adaptive IR. Okay, VivoTech hands down has the best de-warping capabilities in the industry given our, our algorithms. You have the option of taking these fisheye cameras and creating different de-warp images as seen on the screen. When using these cameras, you can digitally pantal zoom within archived video. This feature allows users to see more and therefore get a larger return on their surveillance investment. So these cameras are ideal for education, transportation, and you know other places that um, are focused on applications that are pretty much a room size or, or, or an office, right? Okay. So our 360 cameras can cover an entire area as opposed to mounting four individual cameras with the deficiency of blind spots and unneeded overlapping coverage. You also reap the benefit of less hardware, materials, and labor, right? A 360 camera, degree camera for you know, for small to medium sized room is ideal, right? Just like we just mentioned. We also have the different form factors that you can choose from that allow for, you know, aesthetic considerations. Here's a list of our fisheye cameras and the list of verticals markets where a recommended, you know, model can be deployed based on the camera features. You can find this chart and additional information on our website by, you know, visiting vivotech.com and our fisheye brochure. So as mentioned, you know, our 360 degree cameras have the capability of offering a digital PTZ, right? However, it's, it's worth mentioning that the PTZ function on these 360 cameras isn't as fast as a mechanical speed dome, right, PTZ. 
Therefore, in really fast moving or high security applications, you know, like casinos or prisons or critical infrastructure or data centers where people are coming and going quite often, you know, airports, you know, stadiums, for example, coupling mechanical speed domes with fisheye cameras offer the best of both worlds and a really robust solution. All right, the fisheye is going to record everything in the local proximity and not miss anything right, with the capability of zooming in at a later time via the stored video. While the speed dome viewing video live can instantly zero in on faraway targets, allowing for an image clarity good enough for identification of individuals, license plates, you know, things of that nature. Okay. So here are the supported models of the 360 degree cameras and the speed dome cameras that can work in tandem. Also noted are the firmware versions needed in order to get these two types of cameras working together. Of course, you can always find this on our website and literature. Okay. So reviewing the benefits of, of deploying a 360 degree camera and the conventional IP speed dome camera are as follows, right? Wide coverage, full clarity, and extra smooth pan, tilt, and zoom capabilities. Simultaneously monitor an entire area and provide detailed regional views. Control the PTZ through the fisheye. Auto tracking features available. And here's a quick demo of how both of these cameras work together. Saves on the overall cost of the surveillance system and a much larger return on investment. The left side is the fisheye, the right side is the speed dome. So just draw a square where you'd like to see and the speed dome zooms into focus on the desired area. So really efficient and fast. Okay, here's a demo. This here is our indoor five megapixel fisheye model, FE9380 with wide dynamic range pro, 30 frames per second and has a 10 meter IR illuminator. It uses our latest panomorph technology, which allows you to de-warp the image and PTZ within it. Most importantly, this latest technology has a huge decrease in edge distortion as compared to previous generations. These latest models of cameras have Smart Search 2 and Smart 360 VCA, so that's video content analysis. This particular model doesn't include these two features. Nevertheless, the Smart VCA 360 offers human-based detection, which detects intrusion, crowds, loitering, and missing object detection. First thing I'd like to show you is that from the homepage UI, you can dewarp the image into a variety of views. Okay, so by going over to display mode, this is one original view, and we have one panoramic view, one regional view, two panoramic views, one original, three regional, and one original and eight regionals. So that kind of gives you an idea of um, how you can manipulate the image from this fisheye camera. So as you can see, if you click on one of these squares, uh, you can pan, tilt, zoom within that, within that square. Okay. Now, if we go into the configuration settings, go to media, image, and pixel calculator. This here is a pretty efficient tool. This calculator allows you to know if your current configuration fulfills a certain requirement based on the job specifications. For example, if you are trying to carry out facial recognition or read license plates of vehicles entering and leaving a parking lot, when it comes to facial recognition, you are going to need 40 pixels per foot or 130 pixels per meter or higher. So we can get those numbers by simply clicking on the add button here. And you take this window 
and you scroll around the image. Okay. And down below, you could see the pixel count. So this gives you a high confidence that um, your pixel count is going to meet the project requirements. So if you recall earlier in the presentation, I mentioned that you can tether these fisheye cameras to our speed domes. Uh, let me just quickly show you that those uh, part numbers that you can tether with, given that I'm working with a different model. Um, again, just to reiterate, these are the model numbers that you can um, utilize, right, with the speed domes. Okay. So here's the configuration page for um, another Fisheye 360 camera, the 9382. In order to get this camera to work with a speed dome, you should click on the configuration page, then click on applications, and down below where it says panoramic PTZ, you click on that. And this is where you set up the IP camera. Okay, one last thing we want to review is the package management. So uh, you go to applications and what you can see there is whether or not you have the VCA uh, firmware loaded into the camera. So in order to set up the package rules, all you have to do is click on the, um, the link there where it says VCA and you can carry that, carry that through according to your preferences. So that concludes the demo for the fisheye cameras, as well as conclude the presentation on the 180 and 360 cameras. I hope you enjoyed the information and we have one more thing to cover before we conclude the webinar. But before we get to that, just want to reiterate that if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. Uh, feel free to visit our website. Uh, if you want to send an email, again, that's vivaltech underscore AEC at vivaltech.com. Thank you for sticking around to the end. And because you did so, you have the chance to win a Yeti Rambler, 20 ounce Yeti Rambler, um, superior quality, and it'll keep your drinks really cold or really hot. Trust me, I've uh, got one myself. So um, first valid email that has the correct answer wins valid company emails only, uh, customers and CPP partners only, and we will email you back if you win. Okay, so first question. Okay, so how many D-Warp panoramic views do the fisheye cameras have? How many D-Warp panoramic views do the fisheye cameras have? Okay, that's the first question. Second question, what is the vertical field of view of the MS-9321? So what is the vertical field of view of the MS-9321? So once again, be the first person to send us the correct answers um, and you win yourself a Yeti Rambler. Well, thanks for your attention. We really appreciate your time. If you have any questions or any concerns, feel free to email us at vivaltech underscore AEC at vivaltech.com. Okay, so once again, this wraps up the presentation and I hope you have a good rest of your day.